Hey patrons, in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit about the release of the Texas Monthly Top 50 list, how it affected us and our business, how our team responded, and what the lines have been like at the truck. I don't have to tell anyone watching this video what the Texas Monthly Top 50 list is or how important it is to barbecue, but we placed fifth on the 2021 list that came out last Monday and it has meant a lot of positive exposure which has led to a ton of new guests coming to check us out at Cosmic. We found out Monday and we thought we were going to place well so I ordered more food than I ever have before uh, and after we trimmed up a couple dozen cases of beef cheeks we all celebrated the years of hard work uh, that led to the placement uh, then it was time to get to work. Wednesday rolled around and there were about 20 people in line right away and it continued to grow throughout lunch. These were some of the first plates we served to our first guests as a top 5 BBQ joint on Wednesday. Thursday was no different but I had a little time to sneak away and record some raw thoughts. Today's Thursday, October 21st, just a few days after the Texas Monthly Top 50 Barbecue Joints came out. We were named number five. Uh, what an honor. Can't say enough about the team. It's been absolutely insane. It's been crazy here. Inundated with calls, texts, emails, messages, all over everything. And the lines here are just getting completely out of control. So weekdays now are busier than our busiest days ever. Uh, lines are getting out of control. Everything's getting out of control. The space situation in the commissary is getting out of control. We, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a learning curve. We're hiring. Everything is just kind of coming at us at one time. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty surreal, but we couldn't have it any other way, honestly. Friday, I cut for lunch, and when I came back, there was still a huge line from when we reopened at 515 until we ran out of food around 9 o'clock. Here was the call before the storm on Saturday morning, the busiest day we've ever had at the truck in our four plus years of service. And on top of that, we did a 200 person wedding out of town. Shout out to the entire team that day. It was insane. Does this, uh, does this meet your expectations for what you thought the first Saturday after the was gonna look like? Uh, I would say exceeded, exceeded, greatly exceeded. <laughs> My favorite thing is... <laughs> you guys are making me feel real good about this. <laughs> I know he won't do it. So. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. What does it mean to make top five on Texas Monthly's barbecue list? Topping this list is a goal I set for myself a long time ago, pretty much as soon as I found out about it and knew I wanted to cook barbecue in Texas. This isn't just another top whatever list and whatever publication of the moment, this is a periodical that people refer to for decades. This has the power to influence an entire cuisine and culture behind it. It reaches the entire globe and anybody on it who cares about barbecue. It has the power to make careers. It's a ton of pressure and to be honest it is 100% welcome and I wouldn't want to do it with any other group of people. We couldn't be happier around here. We all know it means a lot more work but making this list is a collective goal we set as a business and we achieved as a team. Nothing is possible as a solo operation and we would be nowhere without our incredible staff of talented cooks and hospitality professionals. Some things we've done this first week to react to the list and to serve more people and the line are add a new warmer at the truck, ordered way, way, way more food, changed our cook schedule, added staff to the prep schedule, added staff to the food truck, 
replaced our chalkboard menu with a beautifully designed one from Helm's Workshop, and we also started to close for about an hour or so between lunch and dinner just to transition staff, clean, and reset the food truck. Making this list is having the effect on our business we thought it would. Just about everything is doubled except our staff, our storage, and our cooking space. Now it is upon us to live up to the ranking every day for every guest. We'll be filling out our menu with new meats, new sides, and new desserts, all of which you can expect on this channel. As far as the rest of the year goes, you can expect some fun holiday specials from us, like our hog head cheese for Halloween. We're going to do a big Thanksgiving blowout again this year, probably some stuffed turkey breast and some different sides. And we're also going to do some really cool stuff for Christmas time, probably some holiday hams. Of course, we're going to do some new and improved tamales. And the entire time, we're also going to be traveling. We're going to go to Charleston. Uh, we're going to do some other really, really cool stuff this fall. And of course, 2022 has a lot of interesting things in store as well. We're getting a brick and mortar. We're getting more food trucks. We're getting more content. We're getting more travel. It's going to be a good time, guys. We are so incredibly thankful to all of our patrons, new and old, at the truck and online, and we're glad to have you on this new journey as a Texas Monthly Top 5 Barbecue Joint. Thank you, and we'll see you at the food truck.